Hello there everybody, I am Tarashimori and in this video here I will show you how to make this origami scorpion by Joseph Zib. And well, I don't know exactly how to say his name, but you can find the link for his Flickr in the video description. To make this origami you should use a thick paper with 25 centimeters, that's about 10 inches, and spray some water on it before you start. So, to make this origami we are going to choose one square sheet of paper, like this one, and start by folding the paper in half here, along the diagonal, like this. Now, unfold the paper, and fold the side of the paper up to the middle line. Okay, do the same thing here on the other side. Now make a fold along this line here, from this point to this point, okay? Right, now unfold all these flaps and fold this flap here first, then fold the other two flaps, just like this. Now fold making this side here of the paper go up to this line here. So fold here only one layer along this line. Okay, and the model will look like this. Now unfold here, just a little bit, like this, and make a fold making this line here go up to this line here. So, you don't need to fold all the way, okay, just up to this line here. Now you're going to fold these two lines at the same time. Okay, and you're going to press here the sides of this flap exactly here on the tip. Okay, and the model will look like this. So, do the same thing here on the other side. And the model will look like this. Okay, now let's work here on this flap here. Okay, this small flap you're going to fold here. Okay. And make the side of this flap go up to this line here. Okay. So the model is going to look like this. Let me zoom in here just a little bit and at this point here you're going to unfold and we are going to open this flap so it's going to be something like this hold the flap like this and open in the middle now fold the flap to the right and the model will look like this now do the same thing here on the other side And the model will look like this. Okay, now fold here the whole model in half, like this. And 
I fold here making this side of the paper go up to this line here. And now unfold here the flap. Okay, now you're going to make an inside reverse fold along this line. So it's something like this. You're just going to fold along the line we just made, but to inside. And the model is going to look like this. Okay, now fold here, making this side of the paper go up to this line here. So, carefully here, make this fold and press here strongly and unfold this flap. Okay, now we are going to make a sink fold along the line we just made. So, it's something like this, hold here the paper in these two points, okay, as you can see this point here and this point here and pull here the paper and press here the middle so carefully fold along the line we just made okay and the model is going to look like this now press here the paper along this line here And carefully make here the mountain folds along these bigger lines, okay? And we are going to sink the middle of the model, just like this, okay? So, now the model should look like this, and make here a fold on one flap, just like this, okay, and turn the model over, and we are going to fold here this bigger flap, okay. So you're going to open here this pocket, okay, carefully, you're going to open like this. And the inner part should look like this. So now we are going to finish here the claws. So, to make the claws, you have to open here the side okay, of this tip here, like this. So, you're going to open a small part, okay, hold the paper like this and open a small part on the tip. And the claw is going to look like this. So, do the same thing here. On the other side and try to make both sides symmetrical and basically that's it now you're going to turn the model over and fold this part here in half making the bottom part go upward like this Okay, and then you're going to squash the paper here in the middle. Okay, so just press here in the middle, like this, and that's it. Now turn the model over, and you're going to narrow here these parts of the claw.
So this is just um, a detail just to make a small effect, okay? To make the origami look prettier. Now in this part you have to make a valley fold about this much here to make the tail, okay? And after you make this valley fold, you're going to fold upward, okay, like this. As you can see, I made a V-shaped fold to make a small division here on the tail and make the tail move upward, just like this. Now do the same thing here and make a small one here on the tip okay so now you're going to open here the tip of the tail just to make the sting and the model is basically done so the model should look like this okay and here you can see another one made more carefully and with a better paper and that's it it's a quite simple origami but i hope you enjoyed this video so do not forget to click on the like button and to subscribe in my channel thanks for watching see you bye bye